Hi, Internet. Welcome to Stop and Think, the puzzle channel. Today we will be looking at the Sunday New York Times Crossword Puzzle for October 6, 2024. The constructor is John Kugelman, the editor is Joel Faliano. I am John Appleseed, your host, and I'm happy you decided to join me as we solve the puzzle together. The title is Teacher's Marks, perhaps something to do with education uh, or common school experiences. I don't know. The title of the puzzle is a hint to the theme, but we'll have to figure it out as we go. All right, let's get into it. One across is remained undercover, maybe something like slept in. Let's get some letters for that. One down, bandmate of Ginger Scary Posh and Baby. That's the Spice Girls. Which one is missing? Um, sporty Spice, I think. Two down, cry from a crow's nest. Land ho, maybe. Three down, Fangorn Forest inhabitants in fiction. I happen to be reading The Two Towers right now from the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and those are Ents living in Fangorn Forest. Four down, ASAP, as soon as possible. Maybe now, oh, but I wanted slept in for remaining, I've remained undercover. What's five down, Sigma follower? Could be any Greek letter, probably. Six down, what was I to do? What was I to do? What can one do when a love affair is over? Seven down, volleyer in a doubles match. Don't know, but I like slept in for one across. So uh, let's put an N there at the beginning. Does that help? A volleyer in a doubles match. Don't know. Um... PDQ, pretty darn quick. Might be another way to say ASAP. Let's just try that. Go up, arrows. There we go. 18 across, time to start the day. Up and at them. Yeah, I am not a morning person. Don't appreciate being <laughs> encouraged in the morning. 22 across. Oh, here's italics indicating this is our, one of our themed clues. Mrs. B, you will die when you hear what happened to me this summer, me underlined and in quotation marks. Um, this is the following a Q, we're probably gonna have a U. Tau is a Greek letter, so Sigma Tau could be a fraternity or sorority or something. Don't quote me. The clue it puts, is put in quotation marks around the word me. So I kind of think don't quote me is what the clue is it's advice that the clue is not following. I don't know. We'll, I think don't quote me will be the beginning, but I don't know what the rest of the answer will be. 18 down, thick Japanese noodle. That's usually udon, which fits here. Udon or soba are common Japanese noodle answers. Uh, nth degree is a, a phrase for a large amount of something. Municipal regulations, ordinances could be abbreviated ORDs. Okay, so that corner looks all right. Eight across, John Singer Sargent portrait that scandalized Paris in 1884. 1884, I don't know. Eight down, what a stooge. Mo was one of the three stooges. Let's try that. Nine down, good wheel of fortune by for too cool for school. If you bought an O, uh, you would be able to fill in quite a bit of the, uh, of the puzzle there. Ten down, fox burrows dens. Is there another word? 11 down, prefix with chamber. Mm, don't know. 12 down, thank you on Oahu. Mahalo, I think, is a, a way to say thank you in Hawaii. 13 down, actor Estevez, Emilio Estevez. And 14 down, strikes out. Uh, did he... Paint a portrait of the Prophet Muhammad could be Muhammad was spelled that way back then. What Beyonce Knowles goes by, she goes by one name, just Beyonce. Don't quote me on this would be a common phrase. You'll die when you hear what happened to me this summer. And the clue itself is quoting the word me on this. Hmm. Not sure what that will end up being. Uh, let's try dens for Fox. Maybe it's not Muhammad. Prefix with chamber, antechamber. 
Seal is make airtight for 27 across. Madam T strikes out would be X's out. Madam X, I don't know the story of that from art history. I guess he painted a portrait of maybe a, a prominent person in Paris but didn't give the name. Perhaps he painted her in some kind of scandalous or salacious pose. I don't know. I'll have to look that up and see what was going on there. 15 across, just peachy. Don't know. 15 down, rank in the merchant marine. Don't know. 16 down, eateries whose patrons dine with tiny forks. Don't know. 17 down, sneaker brand. A lot of things that could be. Can we get some of these short across clues? Tournament pass. A, a, a bid? I'm not sure. 24 down, Steve Jobs called it one of the two or three most important things I have done in my life. With three letters, don't know. 28 across, shall we reply? Yes, let's, you might reply. Uh, 35 across, digestive enzyme. Mm, not sure about that. And 37 across is another themed clue. So we're at the convenience store and wow, I find a $5 bill on the floor. $5 is underlined. Hmm. What about these shorter clues? 26 across, a soccer star ham is Mia Ham. 30 across, windfalls. Don't know. Volleyer in a doubles match. A net. A net man, is that a, a phrase for a position on the tennis court? Maybe you have a net man up front and a backcourt man or something. I'm gonna try it, I'm not quite sure. I'm not very good with uh, tennis terminology. German possessive for 19 down could be mine, mine. 23 down, labyrinthine, labyrinthine, mazy. Uh, that's the adjective for a labyrinth, which is a maze. So mazy could be an adjective form of maze. I don't think, I haven't heard the word mazy before, but I think it works. Bonanzas for 33 across. Those could be windfalls. Like a lucky strike in a gold mine. Bonanzas. Very good TV show back in the day. I want to look at this corner a little bit more. 36 down, smartphone predecessor for short. Ooh, back in the day, they used to have Palm Pilots. They were called personal digital assistants. They were kind of cumbersome and hard to use and heavy to carry around. Now all that and more is included on your phone. So I think that's what that is. 28 down, cowardly lion portrayer. Bert Lahr played the cowardly lion in The Wizard of Oz. If I were king of the forest. Um, li lipids. What is the digestive enzyme that begins with lip? I don't know. 44 across James Joyce story set in a bazaar. Don't know. And 41 down. Most spiders have eight arms or legs. And an S. 53 across, Old West actress. West capitalized. May West is a, an actress named West who is uh, no longer performing, no longer with us, I don't think. I um, don't know that. Eyes. Yes, I have been fooled by this clue before. Spiders also have eight eyes. I think there was a puzzle where I was stuck on legs and uh, couldn't get the puzzle to resolve. Um, don't know that. 56 across, you say it, you pay it containers. Oh, those are those uh, swear jars where anytime you curse, you have to put a quarter in the jar or something like that. Uh, 63 across, progeny, offspring, children, kids, not sure. Um, where should we look next? Let's maybe look over here in this corner. 42 across. Stewart's successor on The Daily Show, who followed John Stewart 
on the as host of the Daily Show. I don't know. 38 down, neglected. 30 down, lightly fry to brown. To lightly fry something, brown it in a pan. The O in a horse poker tournament, 31 down. Oh, I don't know that. I know horse is a basketball game where you try and duplicate someone's shot. I don't know what that means. 32 down, New York City neighborhood, just below Astor Place. Okay, I'm weak on my New York City geography. Can I think of something that begins with an N? It's probably north of Lexington or something like that. No Lex, I don't know. Uh, don't know that. 45 across, another theme clue. Surprise, surprise. Whom should walk in? Just my best friend ever. Not sure what is going on with these <laughs> clues. You'll die when you hear what happened to me this summer. Hmm. Are we are we editing these? Wow, I find a five dollar bill. With this one makes me think maybe whom is incorrect. Should it be who instead of whom? I don't know. Um, 45 down, QVC Alternative, that's one of those shopping networks, HSN, Home Shopping Network is another one on cable TV. 46 down, Eureka, could be AHA. 47 down, Thompson of the Box Office Bomb, Howard the Duck. Oh, I saw, happened to read this yesterday, Leah Thompson from uh, Back to the Future was in Howard the Duck, and I was... We saw an article, but I didn't read the article, but that's how I happened to be fresh in my mind that she was in that film. 38 down, neglected. Don't know. 42 across. That's uh, Stewart's successor. Halloween? I don't know. Queen of the Jungle in comics. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. It was a comic book or comic strip. Tandoor Bread is non- from Indian cuisine, neglected. 33 down, ancient symbols of royalty. Maybe asps, I think the crown of the pharaoh featured an asp, a snake, spoiled brat, a little snot maybe. 43 across, needy, I guess poor, could be financially needy. 39 down, impressed responses, maybe wows. Oh, wow, that's impressive. Waxed could be grew, the opposite of waned. Your, your money's no good here. Ooze could also be impressed responses. So again, I, th I see a common phrase that fits here and kind of relates to Finding a $5 bill, but not really. Your money's no good here. That's incorrect, because you've got the dollar sign in the wrong place, and you don't need the dollar sign if you're saying spelling out the word dollar. So maybe a te this was teacher's marks, right? A teacher might mark this. And the, the sense of the mark, the correction, might be the way you're describing money is no, is incorrect. It's no good here. You don't need to quote me because the quotation marks add nothing to the to the sentence. So maybe the teacher would say, "Don't put quotation marks around me here," or in other words, "Don't quote me on this." So what would this be? Whom should walk in? I don't know. Um, if we look over here again, still don't know that. Don't know that. 63 across, progeny. 51 down, no playing signs. Don't know, 52 down, a pop. That could be each if something is $20 a pop, $20 each. Lip could be the rim of a, a glass or something. 
longtime guitarist for the Eagles. And we know Glenn Fry from the Eagles. This could be some kind of seaman, an, an able seaman. Is that a rank in the Merchant Marine, maybe? Eateries whose patrons dine with tiny forks. Some kind of bars. Araby is an old-timey word for the Middle East, the Arab region, Arabia in general terms. So if somebody wrote a story set in a bazaar in the Middle East, they might call it Araby. What kind of bars are places where you eat with tiny forks? Could this be Lipeys, maybe? Just peachy, a okay, maybe? Tournament pass. If you're in a tournament and you 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 can have a buy for one of the rounds where you, you get passed over, you don't have to play. An oyster bar, you might use a tiny fork to eat an oyster. Did he do LSD? And that was one of the most important things he's done in his life, okay, for 24 cross, LSD was one of the two or three most important things um, Steve Jobs has done. And Keds is a sneaker brand for, brand for 17 down. So that all, that corner works. Okay, Lipe's. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to trust to luck there, but I think that makes sense. Don't know that. Omega, I guess. North of something. Hall, hallway. Neglected for 38 down. Um, don't know. Let's try snot for 34 down. Spoiled brat. Heard people refer to kids as little snots. Um, kind of an unkind thing to say. If this is there or these. 51 down, what's that? No playing signs. Scions is a word for um, like the heir or a member of a family. Maybe that's progeny. And 64 across, me and Jamie ask if we can get a couple of scratchers. Yes, so that should be Jamie and I. Could this end in me? Don't use me there, something like that. Joe looks like a good name for a guitarist. Okay, what about 55 across group with an in-season tournament beginning in 2023? The NBA started that last year. Don't know. Don't really follow basketball, but it seemed like that wasn't very exciting. I'm not sure how I feel about that. 48 down bearded beast could be news. They have a little tuft under the chin. It could be described as bearded. 49 down, newspaper notice could be an obit, obituary. 50 down, trouble. Um, whom should I walk in? The teacher might say, halt. Who goes there, not whom? Okay, that one makes more sense to me. Halt, stop, don't, don't write that. Who is the word that goes there, not whom? And whom is underlined to say what word we're talking about. Omaha is a kind of poker. So let's try that. We have a Soho in New York. Maybe there's also a Noho. South something and North something. Trevor Noah was the host of Daily Show after Jon Stewart. Yes. Uh, neglected could be untended. For 38 down. Okay, that works. 60 across. Multi-movement works, a piece of music that has multiple movements, could be a suite, suites, like the Grand Canyon suite, um, trouble, eat at, if something worries you or troubles you, it eats at you, 61 down, drop the ball, could be to make a mistake, to err, 62 down, beer holder, beer spelled the German way, so giving us a hint that it's going to be a Stein, the traditional beer vessel in Germany. 
67 across thick plank of a ship. Don't know that. 68 down loaf. Don't know that. 51 down no plank. Oh, and the music score where you don't play that that beat, that part, part of the rhythm is a rest. Don't play here. There's no note. Okay. Um, me and Jamie... Don't start that sentence with the word me. Don't start with me. Start it with Jamie and I. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I think I've kind of grasped what the theme is. These are kind of jokey ways to describe a, a teacher's correction to these sentences. All right, 69 across, 2001 role for Audrey Tatu. What was that film? She was like perky and adorable. Amelie, I think. Didn't see the film, but I remember the poster. Um, 69 down, Monet, manager, Monet, an artist, maybe some kind of art curator or something like that. 70 down, Mustangs and Firebirds. Models of cars, models of Fords, maybe. Don't know. Um, 65 down, flamenco shout. You might shout ole while dancing the flamenco. One in a hist historic trio, maybe the Nina, Nina Pinta and Santa Maria, Columbus's ship. World's most recycled material. Steel, maybe? Didn't know that. In delicacy for 76 across. Not sure. 82 across. Draw conclusions in brief. Don't know. 87 across. Marilyn, who sang Aquarius, let the sun shine in. When the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligns with Mars. That was from um, Hair, the musical, I think. Marilyn Horn. Did she sing that? 92 across, scratch them yourself, girls, she says, so we do. Yourself should be one word, or if it's plural, maybe yourselves. So I'm not sure what that will be. Hmm. Where should we look next? Can we get this clue, 71 across? Bottoms of boots, the treads, or the bottoms of boots or footwear. Thick plank. And loaf. Idle can be used as a verb to sit around doing nothing to loaf. Licensed to ill. I think I remember that. Wall. The wall of a ship is a thick plank of wood. Or is it something to do with walk the plank? I don't know. 83 across. My mom buys them and she knows how much I love lottery tickets. Have all these pretended to run lottery tickets? Um, you'll die when you hear what has to happen to me. I found a $5 bill. My best friend walked in. Uh, since I had this $5, I asked if we can get a couple of scratchers. My mom buys them and she knows how much I love lottery tickets. I don't know. Okay, so I think there's a little story going on here too. Uh, 72 across, ending with spy or ransom. Ransomware, spyware, types of software that does those things. So Joe looks plausible. 73 down, te blank, Rahana song. I don't know the song, but te amo means I love you in Spanish. Let's try that. 74 down, fire up, could be rev up. And 75 down, suffix with a Milan or Bhutan. I think we would put ease to describe someone from those places, Milanese, Bhutanese. 80 across, they might be said to be dancing or raging, rhymes maybe. Uh, something to do with love. Joe Walsh, that rings a bell. It's something from rock and roll. Flames can be raging or dancing, yes. 80 down, auditor's target. An auditor would be looking for signs of fraud 
in financial documents, I think. Exams for aspiring clerks, law clerks, maybe the LSAT, the uh, test you have to take to get into law school in the United States. Greetings from Brazil. That is probably hola, the Portuguese word for, uh, for hello. Files, what would an auditor be targeting? Um, 86 down, lead in to coin for a meme currency, yes. Doge coin is, I think that's a kind of Bitcoin named after a meme, that dog saying, ooh, such fun, so many money, something like that. So you don't need to have uh, love emphasized so much because it kind of... Uh, distract from the sentence, and maybe all you need is love, spelled simply L-O-V-E. All you need is love. Bum -ba -da -da -da. All you need is love. Bum -ba -da -da -da. 90 across. Inappropriate to say, maybe? Maybe an auditor would target files, because I like olas for 91 across. Um... 92 across, scratch them yourself, girls, she says. So we do something together. This is going to refer to using a singular pronoun or, or, or put, the word, put the words your and self together. Get it together, something like that. Get yourself together. <laughs> yes, that would make sense. Uh, Get yourself. Mm, doesn't quite fit. All right, let's keep trying here. Somebody sits down, give it for free. I've looked at that. Indelicacy. I think I've got something wrong there. Legato mark. Uh, a slur is the name for the mark on a music score that says these... This, this music, these notes should be sung as a phrase. It should be tied together. Uh, 78 across, terms and conditions. User agreement. 90 across, inappropriate to say, maybe? Ugly, that's an ugly phrase. 48 down, international group based in Vienna. Don't know. OPEC, maybe un-PC, not politically correct, could be inappropriate to say. I think OPEC, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, is based in Vienna. Home of Poly Pavilion, um, maybe UCLA. I don't know Poly Pavilion, but it could work. So self, yeah, get yourself together. Terms and conditions. Well, terms and conditions could be synonyms for each other. An indelicacy could be crudeness. I think that works. Did I miscount the squares here? Get your. Yeah, we've got an extra square here. Pull yourself together, maybe. Give for free. Mustangs and Firebirds are muscle cars, I think. Um, not Marilyn Horn. Draw conclusions. I don't know. Pull yourself together. Take your and self and squish, make them one word, pull yourself together, okay. To give for free is to, what? So I like curator for the art curator who manages Monet or other paintings. I don't know what give for free is. Adjective used with old, uh, or with ye, is oldie, ye oldie shop, you see on uh, old signs. Um, 
Yiddish exclamations, always maybe. I don't know this corner. It just doesn't. Nothing seems to make sense to me. Let's think about that. Feature of Japan's flag is a red sun. I think for one hundred across. One one across. Tool with metal jaws. Some kind of press. Uh, we ought to be able to get this corner, 104 across, confront to face someone. 110 across, one of four rhyming letters, I think in the Greek alphabet, eta, beta, zeta, and others. 107 across, neither's partner is nor. 120 across, one's ordering shots, for short could be doctors, I think, and 104 down, ward off, could be fend off. All right, art curator looks good, muscle card looks good. Draw conclusions in brief. Um, I'm going to give you this for free. I'm going to to comp it. Marilyn McCo, not familiar with that name, but could work. O OTS overtimes. Oh, the conclusion of a game that is ends in a draw. It's tied, would be an overtime. So OTs would be conclusions for a draw. Wow, okay, that was difficult. And comp is to uh, compensate someone to, to give it for free, like a restaurant might comp your meal if the service was bad or something. Okay, 93 down, certainement. Oui, oui, bien sûr. Um, I don't know, certainly. I mean, certainly in French. So maybe some kind of French clue. Uh, 94 down, straighten as hair and curl. 105 across, bumps off, ices is a word from hard-boiled detective noir fiction for killing someone. 111 down, yammer, wee wee maybe, two wees, Darwinian subject, evolution, maybe abbreviated like that. 107 down, Tegan and blank, pop duo, don't know that act. 112 down, get after, don't know. And 113 down, timeout signal. A whistle or a, a T, maybe a T, you make a T with your hands. 95 down, shortcoming, could be a flaw, yeah. 96 down, faint hearted. Timid, might fit. 97 down, voices, one's views. What if it's, it's uh, opines? So, um, 101 across is uh, calipers. That's a tool with metal jaws. And what was 80 down? Auditor's target. Or maybe a tax filer. Not files, but the person who files the tax return might get audited, so the filer would be the target. Okay. Introspective question. Am I? And yeah, that would work. So what's the end of the story? OMG, can you believe it? We won the mall. Probably meant to be you won them all. Um, so I don't know what the teacher would comment there. You've, I don't know, uh, 114 down, ooh, in a text, maybe TMI, too much information. 115 down, darling, hun, might be another short um, endearment, short for honey. 116 down, home to the Cotswolds, isn't that in England? Maybe ENG, I guess. One nine, 109 down, thanks. Thanks much. Not sure, 98 down, braid. And lace could be a word for braiding. Up braid is to scold someone or revile maybe. 102 down, bad thing to do during a meeting, to nap. 109 down, et. Blank et alia, that's a Latin phrase, and others, maybe. 103 down, dark cloud. What about these acrosses? 119 across, devilish, demonic, something. And 122 across, wrestler's outfit as a singlet. I think upbraid could be rant at demonical. 
I would just say demonic. Do you need the extra AL? Thanks. Thanks a, a mil. Thanks a million. Let's try demonical. You you can't win them all, maybe. You can't win them all. To rail at could be upbraid, 99 down, 103 down, dark cloud. A, a pall fell over the, the crowd or something like that, yeah. And nap, N-A-P, would be a bad thing to do during a meeting, so that fits. So I like you can't win them. You can't win them all. <laughs> a sarcastic way to say you can't write what you just wrote. You can't win them all. Is it ecology? The Darwinian subject? Yeah. Let's try we, we. Yes, yes. Certainement, certainly. Okay. Polar sky phenomena. Aurora. The Aurora Borealis. The Northern Lights. Each star its own Aurora Borealis. Suddenly you held me tight. Get after. <clears throat> Dunab, time out signal, ransack is pillage, well, oh, I didn't realize we were done there, okay, so I think a T sign, um, if we put an E there, make Aurora the, uh, use that as the plural, nag is get after someone, Tegan and Sarah sounds plausible. I think ecology, Darwinian um, subject could be ecology, I guess. We, we, yap for yammer, that seems to fit. I think everything works. I think E finishes the puzzle. Here we go. It's my time thirst. Ooh, that was a long time for me for a Sunday. Um, so yeah, a lot of difficulty I had. Oh, <laughs> we have a little graphic. Telling us all the things we've got wrong. Um, C plus <laughs> fix. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so um, I think that's what is going on here. So Mrs. B is probably the teacher. Um, the, the student is telling her this story about finding a $5 bill and, and using it to buy scratchers and then winning them all. And the teacher is correcting all the errors in the uh, in the in the story and using a kind of funny way to to describe it. You can't win them all. <laughs> you can't win them all. Okay, that works. And some very difficult clues. Comp and OTs and Marilyn McCoo gave me quite a bit of trouble. But we managed to pull it out in the end. I hope you managed to stick with me. You can Oh, by the way, pro tip, you can watch these videos on double speed, and I seem really smart, plus you get through them faster. So thanks so much for joining me. I will see you on the next edition of Stop and Think, and I'll look forward to seeing you then.